Hey, what is going on guys? We're here. We got the brakes installed on the truck and I'm going to show you a picture of what they look like on the truck. It's a little bit dark right now, but I wanted to get a video out because I'm going to tell you, uh, if you are looking at the price tag of these brakes and you're thinking, well, do I really, do I really need them? Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, if you have the budget for them and you're kind of on the fence in between getting a big brake kit or like bumpers or something, you're going to get a lot more value, I think, out of the big brake kit. Now, if you're watching this video and you're a Ranger owner, you probably know already how the brakes feel stock. And it, unless you have a factory freak, most people complain about the brake system on the Rangers for them being a little bit too spongy. Them requiring, I want to say like between 40 and like 50% braking force before you really start to feel comfortable that it's actually stopping, that, that's completely gone. Uh, one of the things I noticed is when you start when you get a new set of brakes on your vehicle or you get a new uh, set of pads and rotors or you're changing the brake system on any vehicle you have, there's a bedding in process, right? Uh, the actual process of the, the pads, the pad material forming, uh, that chemical bond against the rotor, that, that's a whole different process. If you want to look into that process, just Google search bedding in new brake pads. Um, we have six pistons on the Mustang and we've got standard stop tech. Uh, it's the standard brakes that come with the Fiesta ST, but we have stop tech pads with Hawk Street 5.0 pads. And now we have the Alcon six piston brakes on the Ranger. Now, when it comes to braking, so one of the biggest questions you're probably asking, uh, did it change the pedal feel? And when I originally got the truck and the brake, or when I originally got the brake system, I was like, it's either going to go one of three ways. We're going to we're going to install it, and the brakes are going to look, or the brakes are going to feel almost the same. Uh, they're going to feel almost the same. It's going to still have that spongy feeling, um, and it'll just be less resistant to, to brake fade. That was scenario one. Scenario two was it's going to be cracked out. Like it's going to be really aggressive on the pad bite. Uh, you barely touch the pedal and it's going to like slam the brakes. Like it's going to be a feel really touchy. There's even some stock, like even on the Fiesta, even bone stock, the brakes feel really touchy. That's really not something I would prefer on the Ranger, but uh, the option three was improved brake feel. Obviously, obviously, it's going to have improved brake fade uh, resistance, and that's what happened. Uh, the brake pad feels, it, it, I think officially on their site, they said there was like a 6% brake pad improvement on like the feel of how the brake pad feels when you, or the, how the brake system feels when you hit the brakes on the truck. It's definitely, to me, it, it feels more than 6%. When I hit the brakes, it's around 15% to 20% of brake pad, like when I, or the brake pedal. When I'm starting to engage it, it's enough. I am never really getting more than 25% uh, into the, the brake pedal, and it's stopping. It's stopping on 35s, it's stopping on the heavier tires, the heavier wheels, all the gear in our truck. It feels just like it did, or well, it feels better than stock, but it, it, I don't feel the weight when I'm coming to the stop. When I'm coming to a stop, I don't feel the weight anymore. So it's a huge improvement in that department. Now, the more the pad material beds into the rotor, the, the better the pad is gonna, the, the better the combo is gonna feel as it heat cycles, as it beds in more. Uh, and I think we only have maybe a couple hundred miles on it. So overall, um, honestly, uh, this is just an initial impressions video. Uh, we're going to do a lot more with this truck. We're going out this weekend. Uh, we're doing like a really like a frigid weekend camping. If you guys want to see a video and you want me to vlog it and kind of show you guys how we camp, especially when the weather is like super cold, uh, Julie and I are going to be camping out in North Georgia, probably ourselves. We wanted more of a private weekend just to get away. But uh, leave a comment below if you'd like to see that. And uh, let me know your thoughts on the brake system. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. See ya.